Hello everyone, welcome to the series of video tutorials on image recognition using the AWS Recognition API. In this video, we are going to talk about extracting text from images. For example, you can see this image, right? There is a cup of coffee here and then we also have text in it. It says it's Monday but keep smiling. So in cases when you are interested to uh, extract the text from various images, you can use this functionality of the AWS Recognition API to do that. So here you can see this is how the results you are going to get. And basically if you look at the response uh, dictionary object, you can see that it returns different kinds of uh, text like it goes line by line, right? So for example, one of the common applications of detecting text in images is detecting the, uh, the date in which the photo was taken from the image. For example, you can uh, look at this image. Uh, let me just, uh, yeah. So here this is a photo that was taken on 01-05-2002, right? Now this is valuable information. Basically, uh, this is an information that says that this is the date in which this image was taken. You might be doing some kind of machine learning where you're trying to, you know, figure out how the lenses have improved over the time for the same camera. And this is probably one of the most important ways in which you can extract data from images. So basically, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to do that using the AWS Recognition API. Now, if I look at the Boto3 documentation, there is a method in it called as detect text, right? Now, again, uh, the parameters that you need to pass into this method is pretty much the same. You basically have to pass in either uh, base 64 uh, encoded image bytes or you can pass in the reference to the image in your s3 bucket we are going to do the letter and then when you pass it when it works perfectly it is going to re return you a response like this sorry that was too much but it is going to return you a response like this right like detected test uh, whether it is a uh, the text is line or is it a word what is the id parent id uh, so things like that so let's go ahead and do this so here uh, in my uh, uh, code first let's change this to detect text and then i don't need this source, Im source image target image that was for face comparison so all i can do is i can uh, copy this image thing and basically go ahead and paste this yeah and so now i can paste it here i can remove the bytes thing this is uh, i don't need this and in the s3 bucket i can pass in lenin dash mishra and in the name i can pass in photo and basically in this photo here we are going to mention the name of the image that we are going to pass which is in this case image with text dot jpg right I don't need the version here uh, it's cool let's just go ahead and print response right now if you don't know what I'm doing here basically it's because you haven't looked at my previous uh, tutorials on AWS recognition please go ahead and check all the tutorials from the beginning because we are only building on top of the code so you can easily understand what I have done in this code basically right so now if I print response it says uh, invalid S3 object exception. Oh, probably I didn't uh, put it to S3 bucket. One second, let's just check. I guess that's the reason. Let's just up, uh, upload it. So it's basically image with text.jpg, right? Yeah, I had forgotten to uh, push this image to the S3 object, but now we have it. Now it should work. Now if I run this, okay. So now it's working. So basically it says detected test, uh, text 01052002. It is type line. It's not a word. Confidence is 96%. And this is the geometry of the text. Basically what is the width, what is the height, the left coordinate, top coordinate. So basically this is how you can get text, right? However, uh, let's say uh, there are multiple lines. For example, in here you can see that uh, there are multiple lines of text right all the text is not on just one line what ha happens if we uh, basically uh, want to look at a text like this let's go ahead and uh, find uh, an image 
let me see if I have some image here uh, I guess uh, we can uh, look at this right this is the LEGB rule I had explained in one of my video tutorials. Um, let's go ahead and use this one. So I can copy uh, copy this and basically, actually I don't need to, I can just upload it here directly. So I can go to downloads and then copy the LEGB rule. Wow, it's really difficult to find now. But maybe we can use some other image, right? Uh, okay, let's just look at this image, the turtle race game. Okay, so this is fine now. We have a turtle race.png, and then I can go and pass in here turtle race.png, and then if I run this, let's see what happens. Okay, so it basically detected that the test uh, pretty good. Uh, let's look at the turtle.png again. Uh, so basically this is the image. So Python, then there is turtle race in the second line, game in the third line, promo in the fourth line, right? So now if you look at this, so first like, detected test Python type line, confidence 99%. This is the bounding box uh, geome geometry basically uh, we can ignore this for now and then the next detected test is turtle race which is also a type line um, actually uh, the python that it detected earlier it should be a word it should not be a line um, i guess there are some uh, irregularities in the response that we are getting in the next uh, line we are detecting text called game with a confidence of 99 percent though Again, if you see, the type is still a line, which I don't agree with. But yeah, there are some irregularities for sure. And in the next, there is promo. So basically, it is able to detect all the um, uh, text that is present in the in that image, right? Basically, this image. So Python, Turtle Race, Game, Promo, it was able to detect everything. So basically, this is how you can use uh this functionality of aws recognition api to detect the text in different kinds of image i hope you like this tutorial um, uh, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all other tutorials on aws recognition i'll be back very soon with something uh, related to google vision how you can do the same the image recognition by using google vision so thank you guys uh, i will see you in the next tutorial